Hey guys, as you've already noticed, I am not Sea Monkey, but I thought it'd be fun to fill in for him today, and I'll bring you a Hell Let Loose artillery guide, and I hope you don't mind. We'll get right into it, and we'll break it down in four parts for you guys. First, let's talk about loading and firing. To operate this fictional artillery cannon, you only need yourself. There are two spots for someone to use their artillery cannon, one spot to load and one to aim and fire. Whoever's loading the cannon can choose between HE rounds, short for high explosive, or smoke. HE will kill anyone near the impact and smoke won't hurt anyone, but will blind everyone. So to load the cannon, first select what round you're using by pressing one or two on your keyboard. Press and hold R to load the round. Make sure not to let it go too early. Once it's loaded, you can't take it out. Once you have loaded the round, you can switch over to the gunner seat by pressing F1, which only needs a short press to get you into that spot. To fire the cannon, you only need to left click and you'll send the round down range. That's as simple as I can put it, but there's more to it. All right, now let's move on to aiming. To accurately aim the cannon, you need to distance your enemy. Pings and map markers are the way to do this and will give you an exact distance to that target. When you're in the gunner seat, you also have a chart to your left that gives you angles and distances. So the distance of a ping or marker on the map, let's say 1,000 meters, correlates to 764 mils on the cannon. As distances increase or decrease, the angles also increase or decrease, but not at a constant rate. Because of that, it can be a bit tricky to calculate in between distances for the exact angle. Fortunately, there are calculators online, so if you have your phone handy, you can just pull up your calculator for pinpoint accuracy with your shots. Something to know, you can man the artillery cannons as any class, but it might be easier and more efficient to do this as an officer. Now, I know people hate locked infantry squads or absent squad leaders, however, being in the squad leader role as an artillery crewman means that you can communicate when you're sending fire, notify the other squad leaders, and make sure they corral their men away from those areas. Playing an officer on the artillery is also helpful because you can drop permanent and multiple map markers that the enlisted can't. You can set down different marks on different key areas, distance out each marker, and write those down somewhere. Now, when you get a call for fire on XYZ, you can quickly glance at your corresponding angle for that distance and start your fire mission. Note, the rounds do have an actual time of flight, so teammates need to expect about a 15 to 20 second delay for impact. Alrighty, next, let's just talk about a couple of general techniques. Knowing how to aim spot on is all good and well. However, you might not have an exact distance for every target you fire at. A solution to this problem that has already been solved is called bracketing. Bracketing is a process of making overcorrections to your shots so you can dial in your fire to the target and eventually fire for effect. This requires a spotter, so someone in your squad with a mic or maybe even a buddy on Discord. The spotter's job is to tell you that your shot was either too far, too close, too far to the left or the right. When bracketing, you want to relay to the gunner how far he was in those directions by telling him how to adjust. So if he's shooting short and to the left, your adjustment will be to tell him to shoot right X and up X where X is an overcorrection distance. This can be complicated and not necessary, but can be fun and not a bad thing to understand conceptually. If your brain is as smooth as sea monkeys, you don't worry about it. But I'd figure I'd tell you anyway. So if you don't have an exact location for an enemy, but more of a general area, try bracketing. Another important note, most of the time, you don't know where your enemies are at. You have to give it your best judgment. Where do you think the enemies are hiding or taking cover? If there's a large field with a map symbol for trenches on it, and you can see friendly forces nearby but not moving on it, you can probably assume there might be a few enemies in those trenches. Also squads, we can't send so a good thing to do might be to communicate with the squad leader in the area. Hey Alpha team, I can put rounds in the trenches to your east if you can keep your men away from it. If you get the okay, let him know. Hey, it's going to be about 20 seconds to impact, sending three rounds that way. Now he knows. Okay, survive for about 20 or so seconds, and we will start seeing rounds. After the third, that's when the fire will stop and my men can flood the area. Knowing how many rounds for a specific fire mission like that can be very important to a squad leader on the ground, so he doesn't send his guys straight into friendly fire. And finally, I'll leave you with some final thoughts. Using artillery takes munitions, so yeah, unfortunately they aren't free. An HE round will cost you 3 munitions per shot, and a smoke round will cost you 5. 
You don't need three active cannons to be effective. You can get a lot of work done with just one cannon. I'm talking 80 to 100 kills in a game pretty easy once you catch your stride. Just be aware that with three cannons firing simultaneously, that's still three munitions every time someone fires a shot. So if you're planning fire missions, make sure you coordinate shot placement, timing, and be conservative. Accurate and timely artillery fire can change a game very often, so work with those around you if it comes to that. Lastly, if your team hasn't placed any nodes, try placing them yourself. You have no room to complain that there aren't enough munitions if you haven't done anything to contribute to the team. At the end of the day, the only person you can really rely on is yourself. If you don't know how to place nodes or what the hell I'm talking about, go watch the Monkey's Engineer Guide. And that's it guys, those are some tips and notes on artillery. You'll learn a lot of techniques and tricks along the way, but it all comes down with experience and honestly, making a few mistakes along the way. So get out there, take advantage of the awesome firepower you're given, and go piss off some enemies. As always, we'll see you on the battlefield.